Hey everybody, it's Sleeve in South Jersey. Before we get this party started, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and comment below. Let me know you subscribe. Put the light back on. <laughs> Folks, it's uh, it's dark now. Um, after work, I uh, had to run to the stores to grab some last minute items for my uh, choir Christmas uh, cantata. I had to get had to get a black jacket. Got that yesterday, thank God. Um, had to get uh, um, uh, some white undershirts because I'm all out of those. And uh, in my size. <laughs> and then I had to get a white shirt. And so last thing on my list was the white shirt. And I figured Boscovs would have to have it. So I tried the Boscovs here at the former Echelon Mall, now Fort Heath Town Center. And after successfully making my purchase... Notice the uh, the mall entry doors are still open, even though there's really nothing doing. And so curiosity uh, kind of kicked in. I figured I'd do a little short little uh, what's going on at the mall video. I guess you could say like a mall update video, kind of uh, similar to what uh, Charleston Pinball Arcade's been doing. Good work out there, buddy. Love to see them put more out. Eventually, I want to do a proper tribute to this mall, but. <clears throat> but for right now, this will have to suffice. So enjoy. The old Echelon Mall Ministry hasn't reached a soul in who knows how long. Eric is she's still on kind of cool in here. Anyway, folks, uh, kind of a weird uh, beginning to this video, but I uh, took my cue from uh, my boy uh, Charleston Pinball Arcade. Hey, out there. I'm at the Echelon Mall, or what's left of it. It's called the Voorhees Town Center now. Had to buy a shirt for uh, my choir Christmas cantata, so I figured I'd go to Boscov's. Now, let me show you this. This is Scott's Pizza. You can't see through here. Way back in 2005, I was working at uh, Custom Contact Center for Philadelphia Coca-Cola Bottling Company. Back in February of 2005, we got the word that this place was closing. So this place is right now December of 2022, and it's been closed for over 17 years. Drama Kids. There was some other... Uh, thing here before some kind of um uh, thing for uh foundation of some sort but that's changed the spot for teens to hang out well that's a great idea if they could if they would <laughs> but uh it's 6.30 in the evening. <laughs> yes, this was uh, doing it by Priot, back when this was a Priot Mall. What's left of uh, the Echelon Mall or Voorhees Town Center is now owned by one of the three unholy mall owner Trinity. And they haven't updated this directory in years. Macy's been gone since 2017. <laughs> Italian Treasures, Children's Place, Bears, Finish Line. Chuh. Chick fil A, I remember their last day. I bet you I got a video somewhere of their last day. I was there. Chick-fil-A was uh, owned by uh, Mr. Milligan. He was one of the uh, men on the board of my small Christian high school I graduated from. His daughter was a freshman when I was a senior. We were on a couple school plays together. Yep, the uniform place. It's uniformly closed. 
And this is the county store where four years ago, as a 40-year-old man, I got my first passport to leave the country. They've moved down the hall. However, you want to know who's doing great in a dead mall? You guessed it, Boscoff's. Hmm. Well, all they got now is no stores outside of uh, the uh, mall, the uh, only working anchor. <laughs> I still remember when that spot we're looking at in the lower level was pay half clothing store then it became some kind of a furniture store consignment <laughs> you know I wonder if anyone's ever seen a, I think it was a New York Times article Dan Bell about, about Dan Bell he was here at this mall <laughs> in fact let me uh, let me try to recreate the fake picture okay it was right about here. You see the community meeting zone right behind me? I think it was right about here. Well, we can consult the photo. Hmm. But uh, yeah, there's nothing doing in this mall. I'd like to again shout out Mr. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> Charleston Pinball for give me a little uh, encouragement here I haven't done any mall videos in quite some time and uh, been mean to do one <laughs> so I figured I'd kind of spot Nady you know <laughs> this here one time was a CVS drugstore and it became Tilt Studio when they Reopened the town center and everything and made this place here. Unfortunately, <laughs> ooh, National Dance Showcase. They're using this for a dance off of some sort. <sighs> this is kind of a, oh, you can't really see through here, can you? They put up a little false wall there. So I got the gear from Tilt Studio. But, uh, vaguely see in here, not much. But at any rate, that place was nothing like Exilorama. Now, I, went, I never went to Exilorama, but uh, my brother lived in Exilorama. This here was KB Toy Store, and then when KB got bought up by Toys R Us, became Toys R Us Express. Lasted pretty long, <laughs> a sneeze. And this... I bought a suit, I believe, for my sister's wedding at this store. <laughs> my sister's been married for, for a little over 10 years now. So, actually, about I think 11 years now. <laughs> yep. Yep, you got fitness, you got an art gallery of some sort. I don't think there's anything at the Verizon store. Mm -hmm. They decked it out for Christmas. Just to have me expecting Santa to come out here. <laughs> what does this mall want for Christmas? Stores? People to show up? <laughs> yep, the Verizon store. In case you're wondering. There's no phones for sale. You can look, see here. But the <laughs> little display computer is going off. No cases. Nothing to sell here. I don't think it's been open in quite some time. And underneath the escalator, this used to be the cookie place. You know, the ones that make those gigantic cakes that are like really just big, humongous cookies? That you you think about getting, but you never do. Buy cookie cakes today, <laughs> and and we won't close down. Sad.
Last Ditch Effort, they uh, moved K Jewelers to the food court. Yep, food court. <laughs> I remember, it must have been in the early 90s, they put this food court in here, or late 80s. And, uh, well, another Philly captain was by here recently. Uh, juicer, oh, that right there, Bain's Deli. A couple guys I was on the wrestling team with in high school work here. <laughs> I think the only thing open here, or would be open, oh, the great addition to the, uh, <laughs> well, I actually had this for quite some time, a chalkboard. Hmm. Now I'm going to try to talk as much as I can because I don't want to get demonetized. Yes, I know I have 570, under 570, uh, no, actually, no, I'm at 572 right now. But when I get to 1,000, when I get to 4,000 hours a few time, I don't want these videos to be un or demonetized. If I remember correctly, this was a Burger King at one point. And... Oh, I think we got uh, one of those bourbon chicken places over there. <laughs> and then the Philly steak place. Which, of course, uh, I think they're receiving the gift of uh, hope. I put hope in there. Sad. And this was the Chick fil A. And this was Cadoba. Well, originally I remember it being Mr. Bulky, big uh, candy thing. Then it was McDonald's at one point. Don't have the label scar, you know, matches that, but it was a Cadoba's last function before it came became some kind of art gallery, so to speak. Because all, all we do is hang up pictures now. <clears throat> Dude, there's nothing really worth showing. Hmm. Yep, Town Hall and Bosco's. The only two things open here. <laughs> Seems like it. <laughs> even the ad space TVs don't even work anymore. <laughs> Soda fountain and coffee over here. I don't know what for. Yep, we get the hope. I gave you hope. <laughs> I think one of these was a subway restaurant at one point. <coughs> no COVID, just coming, uh, just uh, coming out of a cold. Yep. Hard to believe. When I was a kid, 30 years ago, man, this place was hopping. <laughs> 30 years ago as a kid, man, I just used to roam around here. Hard to believe it ain't what it used to be, but uh, <laughs> I think this was one of the shoes. I think it was the finish line. Yeah, it's, it was finish line. And the line's finished. Karate place. <laughs> Voorhees Arts Center. <laughs> it's everything is arts. <laughs> Adventureland. <laughs> Remember correctly, it used to be Hot Topic. Definitely looks like a Hot Topic, that's for sure. Or a very cold topic nowadays. Hmm. Yep. Nothing here. <laughs> this is a Babbage's at one time. In fact, right here. 
I patched it up poorly. This is where the little t computer monitor TV was so you could watch like the little video games and whatnot. We got one on this side too. <clears throat> but I gift wrapped the uh, opening the code. I'm saying, I wonder what he's gonna give this mom for Christmas. <laughs> what used to be here? I don't even remember. But you got Bed Bath and Beyond there holding beyond all reasonable doubt. And hey, Jurassic Park ride. And hey, <laughs> a wall with a bunch of decorations and trees. And of course, go see Santa Claus. <laughs> Man, if I'd sell him his lap, I'd be asking him for the mall I had of my childhood. <laughs> yes, my mall I remember. Here's, well, Strawbridge's. Later it was Macy's. And this, this was Radio Shack at one point. Yeah. Yep. I think Sal's the only one who got in here after they closed. Because now they got 24 hour video surveillance. I remember driving past here on my way to night school, seeing the third floor lit up. Of course, that was last year when I was going to school, graduated uh, back in June. <laughs> Just got literally maybe one more class to go, and I officially graduate from college. So that's the goal now. Graduate from high school now. Next, graduating from college. And escalator's broken. So <laughs> you want to trust the elevator? Probably not. Oh, T-Mobile has moved out of here. Why am I not surprised? So let's take the stairs. This is uh, where the Sears wing and JCPenney wing was before it was all torn down. Oh, growing smiles. The dentist still here? Second floor strawberries. Yep. And we're not trespassing, we're just looking in the windows to see what once was. <sighs> what could have been. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Apparently, they had some sort of leak. Now we're not gonna, we're just taking a peek at their obvious leak. Oh, ceiling tiles have come down. Could mean the roof. <laughs> I'm not walking in, that's for sure. It's right across from the town hall. Who'd be an idiot to do that? We follow the rules wherever possible, of course, and uh, we don't destroy anything, we just document history. So, get the improvement authority here. What are the improvement? And the county store's been moved to here. Meanwhile, I got the town hall for Voorhees right here. That's about it, really. <laughs> yeah, over there. I gotta show you this. It's it's almost uh, almost laughable. Voorhees Town Center, where it all comes together, where it all falls apart. <clears throat> oh boy. <laughs> Meanwhile, they still do a heck of a job decorating here. You know, got to put on a, a nice uh, big solid, you know, smile while you're really crying. Meanwhile, I didn't really get any gumballs because I'm afraid they're probably older than me. 
<laughs> and by other nurses. Well, I'm like goodbye nurse. I ain't no here. <laughs> Sad. Tenant has moved. I didn't know the tenth doctor was here. <laughs> And here, I don't know what the store used to be. Probably a Suncoast, maybe. Yeah. But at one time, they had a, uh, a Coke vending machine, a DN5000. That's the one with all the plastic bottles. You make your, your little selection, and the uh, arm comes up. They push the uh, little, uh, you know, your bottle onto that arm. It goes down. It's neat, but it jams a lot. But yeah, subscribe to their e-newsletter. And I think I need to take a moment, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and the blarts aren't even messing with me. They usually don't. I can't tell how many times I've uh, <laughs> had to fill in the letters with marker but yeah the blarts usually don't have a problem with you recording here mall management is closed and do you know who manages them okay name three mall management companies that are the unholy trinity of mall management companies ones that let you know that your mall is pretty much ooze grade <laughs> dead on arrival Okay, have your guess. Three, two. It's Namdar! <laughs> Director of Economic Development Mario D. Natal says it's his understanding that the current owner of the mall, Namdar, doesn't want to make improvements and might be angling to let the former Echelon Mall fail so it could be raised for apartments. They strangle the mall to where they're completely vacant. Township officials say they want the mall's owners to do what's right and revamp the place. But if they won't, they're ready to play hardball. They could add taxes that would pay for improvements or they could use condemnation and take the mall. Between Cohan and Moonbeam, I don't know a worse um, uh, mall manager. And look, the lights are still on, but ain't nobody home. Well, you're not going to follow me in here because... Uh, That'd be kind of creepy, so hold on for a second, okay? Soap still works. Water still works. They still got towels here. You know, it's relatively clean in here. Oh. And, of course, uh, hold on for a second here. Sorry, I could have had a very uh, embarrassing moment when I walked out, you know, so, you know what I'm saying. But yeah, this is a Namdar mall, so you know what that means. It's done. Stick a fork in her. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised the next time we come by here. <laughs> they vacated, but there was need to be a return. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised the next time we come by here they got a wrecking ball because everything but Bonskovs is pretty much <laughs> dead. Hmm. I just can't believe they. Well, that tree's a little tilted there. I just can't believe they. Uh, you know, there's. I don't know if they're open, but they're still going on. <laughs> I think this used to be many blessings at one point. Yeah, they're very cute. Yeah, there was a Christian bookstore here at one point. I used to buy my CDs here when I was a kid. And this is now a store. I think this is Electronics Boutique at one point. Yes, yeah, I think at one time I saw this with the door open to Electronics Boutique. I wish you could see what I see. Saw a Christmas tree in there. <laughs> the lens crafters. Yep, they've moved. 
shit at the promenade. <laughs> yep, that's how it goes. Yeah, better way to reach new customers. Yeah, advertising a different mall. All we have now is offices here. I don't remember what half these places used to be. It's been that long. <sighs> oh boy, it's been so long. I I can't remember what it used to be like. I mean, it used to be so much cooler back in the day. I think I have a picture somewhere. It was my friend Michelle's eighth birthday party. And it's at the McDonald's, which that at that time was located on the second level here. It's probably not too far from where I just walked. So that was she's only about 10 months younger than me, so that was 1986. That was, good golly, <laughs> 26 years ago. Hmm. 26 years ago. Yep, the mall is closing. It's right now. Right now, it's uh, five of seven, and the mall is closing in five minutes. Hard to believe, but this place around this time of, of night would be hopping. Well, as a kid, now who cares? Well, folks, that'll do it for me. I'm gonna run through Boscov's and get out to where I parked my car. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment, ring the bell, and uh, check out your malls while they're still here, man. I'll uh, see you on the next video. Have a great day out there, buddy. Bye for now. I can't believe I got in this place.